Welcome to all this afternoon. I'm Sarah Baldessaro, Interim Vice President of Student Affairs and Inclusive Excellence. It is wonderful to have everyone join us for this special event. Welcome to American University's awards program honoring recipients of the Student Achievement Awards, Outstanding Scholarship Awards, Outstanding Service Awards, and the President's Award. We are joined this afternoon by faculty, staff, friends, university administration, and families from around the country and from abroad. Now it is my pleasure to introduce President of American University, Sylvia Burwell, to begin our program. Thank you, Sarah, and thanks for your leadership, and thanks everybody for attending today. This is one of the most special times of year for us, and this is a part of it. So thank you all so much for joining us. Welcome to the families and friends joining us today, and a big congratulations to our honorees. We're here today to celebrate students who have distinguished themselves through their talent, their commitment, their impact, and their hard work. They are all change makers who are making a difference here in our AU community and beyond. We're also here to celebrate those who supported these change makers along the way. The family, friends, alumni, faculty, and staff who lifted them up at their highest points and offered counsel and perspective when the challenges were overwhelming. You all are all an important part of this AU community. So first I wanna to start today with a heartfelt thanks to all of you. And now I have the honor of presenting our first award, the 2023 President's Award. This award is presented to the graduating senior who has demonstrated exceptional academic achievement, integrity, selflessness, leadership, and service to our community. Our honoree this year is Annie Propitsny, who has distinguished herself as an accomplished AU student scholar, an advocate for change, and leader in the university community and beyond. Annie graduated from the College of Arts and Sciences in December, earning her bachelor's degree summa cum laude in literature with a concentration in creative writing. During Annie's time at AU, she was a member of the Department of Literature Faculty Committee and founded the American University Creative Writing Club to help students from across campus and a variety of majors find a creative outlet. She was also art editor of the American Literary Magazine or AMLIT and interned at the renowned Adirondack Review where she now serves as associate poetry editor. In addition, she's an assistant editor with Gravity and Grace a DC-based literary journal devoted to women writers. Her poems have been featured in several publications and her poetry collection, Miscellany, was awarded the Department of Literature's prize for best creative writing capstone. She also won the Office of Undergraduate Education's award for outstanding achievement in undergraduate work in the creative arts and represented AU as a nominee for the Marshall Scholarship. Annie, you are a talented and accomplished scholar, a creative writer, and a community builder. Throughout your undergraduate career, you impressed your professors for displaying superior talent in both scholarship and creative work. In recognition of your academics, your advocacy, and your commitment to being a change maker in this changing world, we are proud to honor you with the 2023 President's Award. The award will be formally presented to Annie at the College of Arts and Sciences commencement ceremony, but I'm delighted that we have this chance today to recognize her for her incredible achievements. Annie, congratulations. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much to President Burwell and all the faculty who have supported me. I'm immensely grateful for not just your faith in me, but for your abundant kindness. It's been a wonderful time at AU. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Provost Peter Starr, who will present the 2023 awards for Outstanding Scholarship. Thank you, Sarah, and thank you all. For, for, congratulations all to all our student awardee, awardees. Just extraordinary work that we see on stage today, as you'll see. The Outstanding Scholarship Awards recognize undergraduate and graduate students who have demonstrated exceptional academic success, as evidenced by their academic performance at AU, and by outstanding scholarly activities such as publication, research, creative activity, and conference presentations, and competitive selection for awards and honors. Two awards for outstanding scholarship are given to graduate students. 
The undergraduate award, which is also given to two students, is named the Scott A. Bass Outstanding Scholarship Award in honor of Provost Emeritus Scott A. Bass, who is joining us for today's ceremony. First off, the Scott A. Bass Outstanding Scholarship at the Undergraduate Level Award, uh, Sydney Servany, please. Sydney, you have performed exceptionally well in rigorous courses and have taken advantage of exciting research opportunities while completing a Bachelor of Science degree in neuroscience with a minor in communication. Demonstrating your adaptability and resilience, you stepped forward to join Professor Riley's psychopharmacology lab, even when it was physically co closed during the, due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the transition to our new hall of science. You have since assumed a leadership role in research investigating the issue of deregulate, dysregulated drug intake, co-authoring manuscripts for future publication, presenting your work at conferences, and completing an impressive capstone project in your major. You've also made a, important contributions as a research assistant in Professor Catherine Studley's Developmental Neuroscience Lab, supporting data collection for an NIH-funded study that explores the role of the cerebellum in autism. Based on your mastery of the material and ability to explain complex concepts to your peers, you were selected as a supplemental instructor, instructor in general biology and have skillfully trained and mentored fellow student researchers. Over the next two years, you will undoubtedly continue to excel in the post-baccalaureate fellowship program at the National Institutes of Health, thanks to which you will work in a neuroscience research lab before ultimately pursuing a PhD. Sydney, in recognition of your many accomplishments, we are proud to honor you with the 2023 Scott A. Bass Outstanding Scholarship at the Undergraduate Level Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much for selecting me for this award and for this recognition. And I especially want to say thank you to Dr. Anthony Riley and Dr. Catherine Studley for supporting my candidacy. I am so grateful to all of my mentors here at AU, and I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity as well. Thank you. Thank you, Sydney. Second award, uh, again, the undergraduate award to Lily Dubuff. Lily. You are a dedicated scholar who has excelled inside the classroom and well beyond. You will graduate with a Bachelor of Science degree in public health with a minor in biology. Selected to receive the Health Impact Beyond DC Award by the Department of Health Studies in 2022, you have demonstrated a strong commitment to research and community engagement. You made important contributions as a research assistant for Professor Hawkins, working on a project with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration that examines birth control knowledge and attitudes. You later expanded this research for your Honors in Health Studies Independent Project, which you presented in the competitive American Public Health Association conference last fall. You also supported research funded by the D.C. Department of Health to evaluate the Safe at Home program aimed at researching fall risk among older adults and co-authored a project report. You have amassed an impressive record of internships and work experience, served as a tutor and teaching assistant on campus, and actively volunteered with the One Tent Health nonprofit organization. Following gradu graduation, you will build on many of these successes at the UNC Gilling School of Global Public Health, where you will pursue an MPH in applied epidemiology. Lily, in honor of your extraordinary academic achievements, we are proud to present you with the 2023 Scott A. Bass Outstanding Scholarship at the Undergraduate Level Award. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for just this opportunity. Um, I'm so grateful for all of the faculty and peers that I met along the way. Thank you. Right. And congratulations to everyone. Congratulations, Lily. Two awardees, as I mentioned, for the Outstanding Scholarship at the Graduate Level Award. Our first awardee is Ashwarya Ponugotti. Ashwarya, you have proven yourself to be an extraordinary student, professional and leader while completing your Master of Laws or LLM degree in International Legal Studies. Always striving to go above and beyond, you exceeded the requirements of the program, completing an extra nine credits and earning specializations in both international business law and international environmental law. Your faculty have consistently praised your problem-solving ability, intellectual curiosity, and precise analysis. You were elected as president and communication chair of the LLM board at the Washington College of Law. 
Through these two leadership roles, you helped increase collaboration among students, faculty, and members of the DC community, and made important contributions to the 40th anniversary celebration of the International Legal Studies Program. You also earned finalist honors in the LLM International Arbitration Moot Court Competition, demonstrating your critical thinking and oral communication skills. While completing your program, you served as a legal assistant for the Global Toxic Project and the Inter-American Institution of Justice and Sustainability. You're now putting your education into action as an entry-level associate at the Shah and Kishore Law Firm and as a legal intern with Pangea Filtration Technology, while also working on creating a new podcast series. Ashwarya, in recognition of your impressive accomplishments, American University is proud to honor you with a 2023 Outstanding Scholarship at the Graduate Level Award. Uh, thank you so much. It's been an honor. And I uh, absolutely loved working through the 40th anniversary every bit of it. Thank you so much. Thank you and congratulations. And then our final scholarship award was to David Traugott. David, as you graduate with your Master of Arts degree in International Peace and Conflict Resolution, you've already established a strong record of scholarship, leadership, and global impact. You've earned an outstanding GPA across all courses in your program, and your faculty and peers applaud your intelligence, work ethic, and passion. Along with your practicum team, you completed a study exploring the challenges of measuring progress toward attaining the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 16. You demonstrated your leadership and project management skills throughout the semester, guiding your teammates in producing a report of more than 100 pages that was well received by your client, the Alliance for Peacebuilding. Your internships and independent research projects have taken you to Kenya, where you explored the possibility of electoral violence and to Rwanda, where you contributed to peacebuilding efforts. Your research has been published in AU's Journal of International Service, and this summer, you will present your work at the 16th Biennial Meeting of the International Association of Genocide Scholars in Barcelona. You've also been involved in supporting AU's Transatlantic Policy Center. Post-graduation, you'll continue to make your mark on the world as you concentrate on further peacebuilding and development efforts in Africa and uh, 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 in Africa with efforts at home and abroad. David, in honor of your exceptional academic achievements, we're proud to present you with a 2023 award for outstanding scholarship at the graduate level. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I'm humbled by this honor and um, I wanna give a huge shout out to people, my loved ones um, and my mentors from Kutztown, Loyola and AU, um, all institutions that have a have had a profound impact on me. So thank you and congrats all. Very nice and congratulations. And Sarah, back to you. We would now like to introduce the recipients of the 2023 Student Achievement Awards. These awards are named in honor of former faculty members, administrators, alumni, and trustees, and have been a university tradition dating as far back as 1929. They recognize students who have made exceptional contributions to the university through student government, public service, organizational leadership, or a combination of these activities. This year marks the second year presenting the Gail Short Hansen Award for Advocacy. To talk about this award and how it came about, we are honored to have with us two very important individuals to the university, Neil Sharma and Gail Hansen. It is now my honor to introduce you, Neil Sharma, an AU alum from the School of Public Affairs, former AU Board of Trustees member, and the recipient of the 1998 Kinsman Hearst Award. He will briefly introduce this award he endowed in honor of Dr. Gail Short Hansen, former Vice President of Campus Life for close to two decades. Neil Sharma, thank you for your leadership. Thank you so much, Sarah. 25 short years ago, I was right here where all of you students are today, uh, figuratively, of course, because we weren't on Zoom back then. Uh, but I was sitting at the student awards ceremony, humbled to receive the Kinsman Hearst Award, happy to cheer on my friends, and so eager and ready to graduate and enter the real world. Even at the young age of 21, I felt truly prepared to do so. And that is in no smart, small part due to AU and one woman there who made such an impact on me, 
then, now, and I know into all my pursuits into the future. Gail Short Hansen. Perhaps the most important lesson Gail taught me is embodied in the description of the award she will be presenting today, a description she crafted and one that is reflective of her values. The award is named for her, that, that is named for her, emphasizes leadership based on principles and on an informed point of view that considers many diverse perspectives. That is inclusive leadership that with both meaning and substance. And she is someone concerned with not just what someone accomplishes, but how they went about achieving it. As a fellow Midwesterner, I join her in saluting substance as well as style, the means, not just the ends. Because of her wisdom and investment in me, I sat 25 years ago where you are now, prepared for lifelong learning and service with so many lessons in my mind and heart that have served me so well in my personal life and my professional career. And for these reasons and so many others, and for the 19 student government presidents, the hundreds of student government leaders, and the thousands of students on this campus she has so positively impacted, it is my, another AU alum, my wife, Angela, and my honor to have endowed a Student Achievement Award in her name, the Gail Short Hansen Award for Advocacy. And it is my privilege to introduce her now so that she may present this award to this year's winner. Gail? Thank you, Neil. I hope you can see my hand on my heart uh, in gratitude for the generosity that you and Angela have shown in establishing this award. And what great fun it was to work with you in crafting what it would recognize, because the ability to hold up principled and informed advocacy means the world to me. So thank you again. And now on to this year's recipient. Deborah, I hope you are there. Deborah today say hello, congratulations. Deborah, your dedication to linking advocacy with education has been inspiring and impactful. You designed an alternative break to South Africa with a co-leader on the challenging topic of xenophobic violence. Despite the legal end of apartheid, the remains of the system survived to this day. You connected students to South African communities and leaders to apply what they learned about injustice to lived experience and to create informed action. As a training and education assistant in the Center for Diversity and Inclusion, you supported on-campus efforts to foster community for students of all backgrounds. Off campus, you've worked to further healthcare education for communities in the DC area and abroad in Nairobi, Kenya. On top of your advocacy, you're an impressive scholar in the three-year Public Health Scholars Program. Deborah, for your broad and impactful linkage of global community and on-campus advocacy with education and scholarship, we are proud to honor you with the Gail Short Hansen Award for Advocacy. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much. It is a great honor to be um, receiving this award. Um, I especially want to thank the Alternative Break Office as well as the Office of Campus Life for taking me places that I never thought I'd be able to go. Thank you so much and congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to you. Now it's my pleasure to again welcome Sarah Baldessaro, who will continue announcing the recipients for the 2023 Student Achievement Awards. Thank you so much, Gail. I'll now announce the winner for the Harold Johnson Award, Isaiah Washington. Isaiah, your work as a leader and scholar has been inspiring. As co-editor-in-chief of The Black Print, you have disseminated the distinct, distinctive perspectives of students who may not have an outlet for their writing and self-expression in other campus publications, amplifying many voices that it is important for the campus community to hear. As a teaching assistant, you helped students explore how art and the experience of art relates to and conveys social values, helping students find ways to implement their original ideas in research projects. In your own scholarship, 
you've explored the experiences of Black people in cultural spaces and how those spaces are being reclaimed. You've mentored AU students through the BIPOC Student Affinity Group and Frederick Douglass Distinguished Scholars Program and mentored young men of color in middle and high school through the From the Fire Leadership Academy. Isaiah, for your work promoting understanding and acceptance of cultural and racial diversity at AU and beyond, we present you with the Harold Johnson Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I am so honored to have received this award named after such a pillar with stratospheric impact. I'm grateful for the AU community, my peers, my professors, my templates for success. They have metamorphosized me into the person I am today. I hope to continue to make AU proud with what comes next. Thank you so much and congratulations to all the other winners. Thank you. I will now highlight the winner of the Evelyn Swarthout Hayes Award, Caroline Cascio. Welcome. Caroline, you have stood out for your ability to use the arts to strengthen the sense of community. As a violinist participating in various university ensembles, you have won recognition as a performer, but you are more than a brilliant musician. You also use the arts to bring people together. As concert master for the AU Symphony Orchestra, you not only lead the violin and string sections, but also are a vital force that guides the entire group. Through your work with the service-based music fraternity, Mu Beta Psi, you've raised money for philanthropic causes helping at-risk youth through the arts. You have been an ambassador for the music program, volunteering at preview days, New Eagle days, and other community events. You're even known to bring cookies to share after concerts or rehearsal, another example of your spirit and generosity. Caroline, for your contribution to AU through the arts, we are pleased to recognize you with the Evelyn Swarthout Hayes Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, I'm honored to receive this award. And I just wanted to thank my friends and family, as well as my uh, faculty and professor mentors that are on the Zoom call today, um, and those who weren't unable to make it. Um, I've been like surrounded by the music program my whole time, even through COVID, when it was a hard time for all of us, but we were still able to make music together, which was something that really got me through. Um, and I'd also like to shout out some of my SOC professors as well, um, who were there by my side the whole time and supported me at various performances. Um, so thank you to everyone and congratulations to the awardees. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to highlight the winner of the Charles Van Way Award, Kieran Kocher McCabe. Kieran, you are a collaborative leader who works toward an inclusive understanding of success that responds to the needs of others. You served as a mentor in the School of International Services Diplomatic Corps, working closely with first year students to create a sense of community where they would be comfortable building their skills and knowledge. You did this during the height of the pandemic, providing support to new students when they needed it most. As Chief Executive Officer for AU's Model G20 Summit, you led both graduate and undergraduate students from AU and other institutions in summits discussing topics ranging from sustainability to migration and global supply chains. Off campus, through your work with Care International and Giving Circles, you served communities in DC and across the country. Kieran, for your impressive work building community, we are proud to recognize you with the Charles W. Van Way Award. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Sarah, and everyone else on the call. Um, just a huge shout out to all the professors, especially our Model G20 faculty advisor, Jeff Bachman, uh, and Dr. Tazrina Sajad, who recommended me for this award. Uh, they've really been fantastic mentors and community is something that I hold very dear uh, to my heart and something that, you know, was 
uh, instilled in me as a value very young with my my family and my parents. And I'm really looking forward to continuing to build community in whatever comes next. So thank you all so much and congratulations. Thank you. It is now my honor to present the honoree for the Carlton Savage Award, Padrag Sutanovitz. Padrag, your commitment to supporting AU's international student community is remarkable. As an AU diplomat, a member of the International Student Ambassadors Program, you connected with prospective and admitted international students through virtual recruitment presentations, as well as in-person events like Preview Day. You continue to support New Eagles as an orientation leader. Through your work as a resident assistant, you cultivated a community for all your residents while helping international residential students find a sense of belonging. You served as the program assistant for the Saeed Peace Scholars Program to support the program's mission to provide scholarly opportunities centered on peace and conflict resolution, you facilitated many intercultural op opportunities, including helping to bring the Serbian ambassador to the US to AU's campus. Padrag, for your work building intercultural understanding, we are pleased to recognize you with the Carlton Savage Award. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very honored that I got to receive this award. I would like to thank my family who is here with me today, the people that I work with, and my peers. And I'm also very happy that I got the support of the international student community here, and that I got to increase intercultural understanding on campus. And congratulations to everybody on their achievements. Thank you. It is now my privilege to highlight the winner of the Stafford H. Cassell Award, Sophie Baston Myers. Sophie, your dedication to AU and to others shines in everything you do. As president of the Public Relations Student Society of America, you organized dozens of professional networking events for your peers and spearheaded a campaign to support the AU market, including coordinating a chapter food drive. Your leadership extends across campus in your work as copy editor for the Eagle, as a consultant for Consult Your Community, and as a founding member of SOC's Student Communications Agency, SOC3. You also served as a virtual class facilitator for AU's Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, helping adult learners from the DC community navigate a virtual learning environment. From internships at impactful organizations in DC to starting a recycling program in your hometown, you are always ready to learn, serve, lend a helpful hand, and inspire others to do the same. Sophie, for your commitment to our community, we are pleased to recognize you with the Stafford H. Cassell Award. Congratulations. Thank you so, so much to the AA administration and also the senior awards team for this amazing honor. I greatly appreciate the continued support and encouragement from my family and professors. And I'd love to give a shout out, especially to Professor Publisi, Professor Kumar, Professor Perel, Professor Malika, Professor Talon, and Professor Steinhorn. You all helped me flourish in and outside of class, and it means so much more than I can say. Um, congratulations to the fellow winners, and thank you so much. Thank you. I would now like to introduce Assistant Vice President of Campus Life, Dr. Tracy Calandrio, to present the remainder of the 2023 Student Achievement Awards. Tracy? Thank you, Sarah. The next award is the Katherine Seckler Hudson Award. And for that, we highlight Maxwell Rubin. Max, your work for student government has been a profound expression of your commitment to good citizenship. As a campus at large senator and chair of the Campus Life Committee in student government, you led many working groups with members from across the AU community to address campus issues, including access to mental health resources, accessibility services, and sustainability. You also were instrumental in the work to encourage voting in the AU community through a university, university holiday on election day. Your commitment to public service and to learning about and practicing impactful governance extended beyond campus to your work as an intern for the White House Council on Environmental Quality and as a congressional intern. Max, for your impactful work with student government, your public service, and your commitment to the university community, 
We are pleased to recognize you with the Catherine Seckler Hudson Award. Thank you very much for this award and recognition. I'm deeply grateful to have had the chance to serve my community and deeply grateful for AU support. However, in recent years, I recognize a lot of the harm that AUSG has caused, and I really hope that with reforms, it can be a better place for students to represent their voices. Thank you. Congratulations, Max. Next, we have the Fletcher Scholar Award. And for this, we highlight Benjamin Calzini. Ben, your combination of leadership, citizenship, and scholarship is extraordinary. As a member of the Olson Scholars Program, you are an accomplished researcher who has looked at global inequality, economic governance, and international relations. You worked with AU's Pericles Institute and the State Department's Diplomacy Lab to examine trade and foreign affairs across the world. You're a delegate, delegate on the Model UN team where you combine your academic knowledge with leadership skills and with your peers, help the team to achieve its ranking as number one in North America. While balancing your research and work with Model UN, you also have raised awareness about substance abuse on campus with your fraternity, Pi Kappa Alpha. Your chapter collaborated with the nonprofit Birdie Light to educate the campus community about preventing overdose-related deaths and harm reduction. Ben, for your citizenship, leadership, and service, we are proud to recognize you with the Fletcher Scholar Award. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to say I'm honored to receive this award. Um, but while being recognized for my scholarship, service, and leadership, I owe a great thanks to AU for the opportunities to achieve in these areas. Uh, I also just want to shout out my family, Dr. Jennifer Poole, and all my close faculty mentors for their support in this journey through AU and beyond. So thank you very much. Congratulations to everyone. I'm very thankful for this award. Thank you, Ben. The next award is this Charles C. Glover Award. And for that, we acknowledge Kushi Kungar. Kushi, your combination of citizenship and business leadership and service to the community has been outstanding. As a teaching assistant for a core business class, you touched the lives of hundreds of COGOD students, creating a supportive sense of community, even through semesters of virtual learning. You were not only peer consultant at COGOD's ProCom Center, where you coached and mentored students' communication and professionalism skills, but also in COGOD's Office of Career Engagement, helping students prepare for their futures. You served as a treasurer for Chi Omega, where your business leadership helped, you, helped your chapter organize a philanthropic event that raised over $15,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. As president, and, and, as president of the AU Banca crew, you are also a leader in multicultural arts and expression, bringing the team to national competitions and sharing South Asian dance with the AU community. Kushi, for your impressive combination of leadership and service, we recognize you with the Charles C. Glover Award. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to AU for, your, for the university's continued support and access to resources to achieve these accomplishments. Thank you to my family, um, my parents, my friends, my peers, and all of my professors, of course, for guiding me through everything. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And next we have the Bruce Hughes Award. We call Rebecca Rafi for this one. Rebecca, your leadership and dedication to the university community has been outstanding. You served as a senior program leader for the Complex Problems team and welcomed new Eagles as an orientation leader. You received an Eagle Endowment grant to create feel-good bags with food, toiletries, and other necessities donated from local stores to help combat food insecurity during the height of the pandemic. As president of Alpha Phi Omega APO, AU's community service fraternity, you revitalized the group after the pandemic by bringing in record numbers of members and launching service projects like a food drive for the market food pantry. On top of all of your other work, you also find time to suit up as Claude the Eagle for special events on campus. Little uh, disclosure there to everyone. Rebecca, for your leadership and service, we are proud to honor you with the Bruce Hughes Award. Thank you so much. I'm absolutely honored and humbled for this opportunity. And I'd want to shout out my faculty who supported me throughout my undergraduate career, Dr. Free, Dr. Hawkins, Paul Albergo, Rebecca Comfort, 
just a huge thanks to you guys for nominating me for this award and a shout out to my family who's on Zoom as well as my peers. So thank you. I really appreciate this nomination. Congratulations, Rebecca. And next we have the Kinsman Hearst Award. We call in Juliana Mack. Juliana, your service on behalf of your peers has been stellar. The past two years, you served as a resident assistant, supporting your residents with enthusiasm, empathy, and dedication. You worked regularly within the student conduct system as you guided residents through the disciplinary process with sensitivity and care. As a representative on the AU Student Athlete Advisory Committee, you advocated for the well being of student athletes, including work to promote mental health awareness in athletics. As a student athlete yourself on the cheer team, you not only cheered for Eagles on the basketball court as they competed with other teams, but you also competed at nationals for cheer, helping AU earn a top 10 finish. Juliana, for your dedicated service to the university and to your service to so many of your student peers, we recognize you with the Kinsman Hearst Award. Thank you so much. It's been a privilege serving as a resident assistant and on the Student Athlete Advisory Council. I am so honored to have won this award. A special thank you to CJ Murphy, who's the head coach of the cheer team, Professor Wiesler, who really solidified my love for economics, and for my family who, have, who has supported me unconditionally. Congratulations. Please join me in congratulating our 2023 Student Achievement Award winners. Interim Vice President Baldassaro will now present the awards for outstanding service to the university community. Thank you, Tracy. The awards for outstanding service to the university community for which both undergraduate and graduate students are eligible honor students who have demonstrated unique contributions with lasting impact and sustained service to the university community. These awards go to two graduating students. The first, China Brody. China, your leadership has impacted many communities across campus. You created the Black Student Success Series, weekly meetings for Black students to discuss their experience at AU. You also became the first undergraduate representative for the Women and Politics Institute. You were a senator at large in AU student government in your first year, simultaneously being a first year fellow for the Women's Initiative. You served as AUSG president twice, the only person to serve two presidential terms in recent memory. As president, you oversaw many projects and initiatives on campus, including bringing back the AU yearbook for 2022 and sharing student priorities with the board of trustees. As a three-time facilitator for AUX classes focusing on race and identity, you assisted with improving campus climate by creating innovative dialogue spaces and challenging racial bias. China, for service that has profoundly impacted our campus and beyond, we are pleased to recognize you with the Outstanding Service to the University Community Award. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I truly, truly appreciate it. It means the world to me. A deposit into the payroll account. Um, my experience and being able to be student body president, it's been incredible to be able to elevate and uplift the students around me and advocate for their voices and to see what they need um, from raising $2,000 for the dining employees to starting um, the yearbook, trying to bring that back um, and just... Uh, having more dining locations on campus that students are passionate about. It makes me happy to see. Thank you. Um, it's been an incredible journey. And congratulations to all of the other awardees. We're going to do great things. Congratulations. I now would like to introduce Stevie Marvin. Stevie. You have been a powerful voice for social, economic, and racial justice and understanding. You organized a speaker series in collaboration with the Asian American Student Union, the American University Hawaii, and other student organizations. 
to go to the local no, I need campus, to the payroll account. To the campus. I was just giving you the card so you can look up the account. Oh, I need your ID. Uh, can I ask you to, to mute? Thank you so much. Um, you organized a speaker series in collaboration with the Asian American Student Union, the American University Hawaii Club, and other student organizations to bring global activists and scholars to campus to speak about essential topics, including practices of solidarity with indigenous communities. You developed a guide to creating anti-racist curricula, which introduces its readers to theorists of key concepts, including intersectionality, racial capitalism, and decolonial thinking. This guide was given to all first year advisors, helping to build a bridge between anti-racist pedagogy and practice and enabling a positive impact on AU students for years to come. As a student researcher, you also worked with faculty, staff, and other student researchers to relaunch the Anti-Racist Research and Policy Center, continuing to create space for reflection on decolonial thinking, anti-racist action, and gender justice. Stevie, for your commitment to developing community, building solidarity, and advancing anti-racist education, we are proud to recognize you with the Outstanding Service to the University Community Award. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd love to shout out all the student organizations that I've been able to be in community with and that I'm so grateful to have been able to work with to imagine, organize, and build spaces of resistance and love at AU as this work was done, not done alone. Hawaii Club, League of United Latin American Citizens, Black Student Union, Caribbean Circle, Indigenous Initiative, South Asian Student Association, Students for Justice in Palestine, Asian American Student Union, and AU dissenters. And thank you to Professor Christi Christina Yuhaswood and Professor Lily Wong for all of your support, encouragement, and mentorship. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our award winners, their families and friends, and thank you to members of the American University community for participating in this celebration of excellence in scholarship, leadership, and service. To all who have supported, mentored, and guided our awardees, thank you for all of your work. Have a wonderful evening, and we look forward to celebrating our graduates over the next several days. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations.